welcome to Gen X Toy Box. We have some great stuff to show you tonight. Uh, my husband did some Facebook marketplace finding and he met up with a local like collector slash seller and like new friend. I would say like check the description in the bottom. We might have some information for you. But we got some cool stuff from him. Um, so obviously the first thing on the table you can see is this really cool wheeled warrior space. Um, so we have some of the vehicles out here and we didn't quite attach the, um, the treads on it yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart and clean it. You know how I do, I like to clean up everything. Um, so we're essentially gonna give it a good wipe down, a good sweep and clean, um, but I kinda wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, still got really good intact stickers, just a couple that we'll probably push down with some Mod Podge. Um, but yeah, like the integrity of the stickers is pretty good. It's really, really gorgeous. And no, it's not complete, but it's a good start, right? All right, so I'm gonna open the front and I'll show you. We put the vehicles inside mainly just, you know, to carry it. So yeah, we got the inside and you got like different chambers to put your cars and like they come out and everything. And see, here comes this one. Very cool, which I think we got this one the last time we did a video. Um, and the cool thing about these is like they're like mix and match parts. So like you can take the chassis from this one, put it on another one. So it's very customizable. It's like a modular piece. So it's really fun to play around with. Um, and plus they look really cool. Like this one in particular is like the bad guy vehicle. So this looks really cool. And like you can put the different wheels on it and stuff. And then we have this one as well. That's kind of cool with the little missiles in front. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, so we got extra chassis. It's like missing a wheel and stuff. And we got some attachments over here. Um, yeah, but we got like tons of stuff. And see, I love the drill pieces. I don't know why. And then, you know, we got some, some missile looking stuff in here. Um, this is really cool. I think we got this in the last video too, or something very much like it. Oh no, I've never seen this one before. So this shield like opens up and then you've got like guns pointed at you. So that's really cool. That's like a hero one. Um, oh, and look, we got this one too. This one's like spaceship means, meets like a Chevy. It's kind of cool. I like it. And then got some more pieces back here. But yeah, see, we got like pieces. And, ooh, this one's a really cool one. Very futuristic and, you know, I, I, I like this whole thing. And I, I can honestly see my son getting into this when he gets older, um, if he sticks with the whole car thing. But yeah, this is a really cool find. You know, you've got like, it's still got, you know, a little crane handle and everything. And um, yeah, this is neat. And see, look, the stuff comes out. There's a, there's a whole thing. There's a whole play set. So... I'm going to go put this away and I'm going to resume video in just a minute. So I hope you enjoy the Wheel of Warriors. Okay, I'm back and I kind of wanted to show off the other cool stuff we got. Um, so this one we actually got for my son, um, but come to find out it's not working, but that's okay. Um, so we have a Masters of the Universe Dragon Walker and the thing that's really cool, the <laughs> really cool thing about this is the battery cover is there. I mean, I know personally as a kid, I used to take the battery covers off of everything. None of my toys have battery covers. So for this to be here, that's kind of important. And you have the seatbelt still intact, very nice. So um, I think we have one under the house that we might give a try and see if it's working because I really think my son will get a kick out of this maybe when he gets a little bit older. But yeah, we found a dragon walker. That's really, really cool. All right, and to keep along with the Masters of the Universe theme, we found some really cool stuff in here. Um, so, just like the Origins are coming, the Vintage line came with a bunch of mini comics. So, my husband actually didn't have a lot of these. So, um, King of the Snake Man, that's a really good one. Um, I'm trying to see. The Terror Claws, which I actually think my husband has that one. Um, or Revenge of the Snake Men. The Snake Men one we really like because they're neat. Um, the Flying Fist of Power. Um, the Escape from the Slime Pit. And the Powers of Grey Skull. The Legend Begins. Very nice. So these are all ones, again, my husband did not have. And he really kind of needed for his collection. All right, and then we have these golden books. So I've actually read a couple of these to my son and they are in really good shape, um, really crisp, really clean. So like, I'll show you some there. 
So yeah, this is the Meteor Monsters. And it's got, you know, just like a little fold back here. But again, this is something I'm probably going to read to my son. This is really, really cool. I love these. And then we have another one too. Mask of Evil. Yeah, it sounds about right. But yeah, this is, again, really nice condition, really clean. They're not like scribbled on like most of my books were because, you know, I never took care of my stuff. All right. And then I mean, we have some non-masters related stuff in here too, but this is um, like, um, this is a magazine, but this it's like kind of missing the cover and like it's, you know, falling apart a little and it's a poster-ish situation too. So we actually have this little game. Um, so we actually have it like carded and everything. So kind of just wanted to show that off. It's really cute. And then, you know, it comes with the really cool, you can decide. <laughs> Welcome Jamal Warner is the celebrity on the back. So yeah, this is something that's really cute that, you know, you can display and hang up and stuff and like came in the magazines. And like, here's another one. Here's another really cool poster. This is really pretty. Oh, it's got Mossy in it. It's got Moss Man. I love it. So yeah, I think, um, if I would frame anyone, it would probably be this one because it's got Mr. Mossy in it. So it's really cute. I love these. They make for such good art. And um, as you can see, this is kind of what my husband did with it. Really cute, right? So my husband made this. It's like a little poster thing. And, you know, we can hang it up. It's like a little plastic, like plastic board. So yeah. Very cute, right? All right. And then, oh. Okay, so I actually really like this one. Um, so it's like this figures checklist. So you can just go, oh, I need this guy. Or, you know, I don't want this guy. And it's really cute because there's check marks on them. So that's like really cute to me because it's like some kid was like, yep, I've got this. Yep, I've got this. Or I really want this. So there's the figures in the back. And then like there's the accessories. Like I can't imagine. Like my toys never came with this really cool stuff. I'm really jealous. I really am. Not gonna lie. All right, and then we got, this is my husband's new thing. He's, like, really into the magazines, mainly for the art and stuff. But, you know, we got, oh, I like this, the King Hiss one. And then, look, he got some non-Masters Universe stuff, too. So we got GoBots, right? These are really pretty. And this is another poster of the one that we've seen. Um, here's the magazine based off the movie. There you go. Look at these kids on the back now. They look like they're having a blast. All right. And then, okay, so I'll show this one off. This is, this is like a little chapter book. It's like a comic book, like, book. I don't know. It's adorable. So this is The Incredible Hulk Lost in Time. It's, it's called Other Big Little Books. So they had like Batman, Roadrunner, Superman, and all that stuff, Donald Duck. But yeah, as you can see, it has like a picture on one side and words on the other. This is really cute. It's cute for my kiddo, I think. Oh, a coloring book. Okay. And it's not colored in. So this would be really cool to like scan and make copies of and kind of color myself. <gasps> Sticker fun. Very nice. And yeah, this one's got, you know, got some of the stickers put in there, but that's super cool. I'm telling you, I would have loved this as a kid. And look, you got a maze on the back and everything. All right. All right. What else do we have in here in this baggie? All right. Oh, so this is like, oh, okay. Like a sticker book type thing. And, um, it's like of the cartoon and you can like put like the little pieces of the cartoon in there. Oh, it's a panini. That's what it is. Yeah, so I couldn't think of the name, but yeah. Very cute. I'll show you some of this stuff on the inside. Right. Nice. And then oh, this thing my husband got. He showed it to me. So, you know, he was like looking through all the magazines and the comics and stuff and came across this one. Um, how to win at video games featuring the latest video game strategies and tips like this is before you know they had the internet and like all these cheat codes and everything like this taught you like how to win at a game it's really cool um this is something that you know my husband's gonna be having a birthday party in an arcade soon so i'm like really thinking i might bring this to try and like beat some high scores um but yeah look at this the art and everything it can tell you you know how to win 
like I love centipede um, that's probably one of my favorite things to play at the arcade um, so I'm probably going to make copies of this and like slide it in my pocket no one will ever know and then all of a sudden they'll just be like Jessica you broke the high score of centipede how did you do it but, like you know I'm just that good that's how it's gonna happen so um, I'll have a trophy and everything just to watch. All right, so that was just the, the paper stuff my husband got from, from him. I'm telling you, he found a lot of really cool stuff. All right, so this was a beauty. So we've seen it in um, antique stores before. So we've got the Voltron board game. And, um, you know, it was always something we're like, eh, should we? But it was like the right time, the right price. And it's like literally only missing like two pieces. So um, this is really pretty. And this is one of those ones that we're probably going to like um, shrink wrap and like put up and everything. But two mighty memory battle games. So this was a really good find. We, we've been on the fence about it before, but I'm glad we took the plunge. And then, so, let's see we've got an entire bag of things that we've got here um and oh i wanted to show this off i really wanted to show this off so this is mine um i don't have any beetlejuice figures per se um i have like some of the burger king toys and stuff um but now i kind of want some to put in my really cool carrying case so this may have just opened a whole nother can of worms, which is quite appropriate for this Beetlejuice here. Um, so I'm going to clean this off a little bit, but I just love, love, love this movie and everything. Like it's, it's, I used to watch the cartoon, like it, it, it's a whole thing. So it's a good movie. So we have that. And then, okay, so this I'm actually going to open on film because I was going to open it anyway. So Toys R Us. I'm very, very, very sad that it went away. And I'm, I'm kind of not okay with it. And this is like a baseball set. I, I don't do baseball cards. Like, I'll watch baseball. It's probably the only sport I'll watch. So, you know, it comes with some photo cards, which is really cool. So it looks like it's been opened before. So it's no biggie that I'm going to open it now. Um... So I'm, I'll see if I can see anybody, but I love the fact that it's got the Toys R Us logo up top. Like, that's really pretty. I'm trying to see if there's anybody here that I know, which, you know, I really, like I said, I don't know much baseball. Um, Montreal. No. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. Okay, so I know him. Okay, see, look. And this is, these are from 1993, and it's from Tops, and they, you know, kind of went with, um, He's an all-star, wasn't he, at some point? But, I don't know. These are really cool. I like this. Um, and then, this is kind of what I bought it for, to be honest with you. Um, because it's a little Toys R Us store, and it's supposed to hold your cards. There's cards in here. So, these are master photos. And then they have cards in here. Um... You know, I'm not going to open these. I'm going to leave these be. Um, but I mainly bought it for this because, see, it's a little toy front. It's a little toy store front. It's got, like, Jeffrey on it and everything. And, like, I'm going to clean this off. It's going to need a little bath. But it has, like, all the aisles in Toys R Us. And it just, like, hit me in a good nostalgic way. And I kind of wanted it. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to open the cards. But I'm going to give this little Toys R Us thing a bath. And I'm probably going to display that in my office because I really miss Toys R Us. Okay. All right, so that was that, and I'm probably not going to keep this. There's no nothing in there I need. Okay. All right, it's next in the bag of goodies. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, my husband's weird. Like, he, he was just looking, like, he, he, like, needed a break. He didn't have any change. So, like, my husband's like, all right, what can I buy? And he bought a Rambo game because why not? Um, so, yeah, I don't even know if it works yet. So, we're going to have to take it out, you know, take the little battery thing out and see if it works. But, really? Rambo? Okay. I mean, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do. All right. So, we got... See, I didn't see these before. Okay. This is quite impressive. So, we got a Centurion's poster. I didn't see this before. Who's hiding this one? I'm going to be, like, super gentle, careful with this. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Power extreme, extreme, extreme. Yeah, I did it. No, I'm not mad. I'm doing it. So yeah, look at these really cool guys. I love these. Hacker's probably my favorite. He's pretty cool looking. 
But yeah, this is a really nice poster. This is something that's definitely gonna have to get framed and put in the toy room downstairs. So very cool. And then we have a He-Man poster that I showed you before. So we have like extra actors of those. And then, wow, we've got a RoboForce comic. Okay, look at the cute little robots. I like Hundred, the Conqueror robot. Super cute looking. Oh, there's Max Steel, but look. Very cute, that was a very good find. We love robots, we have a problem. 1984, geez. Okay, let's see what else. What in the world is this guy? First of all, he, I, I wanna put him like in this rock hole, he's super cute. Um, so I've never seen in person a Rock Lords. This is the first time I've actually seen one and they're super cute. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might want more of these. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try and transform it because I'm terrible at it, but that's really cute and I really like the color too. So, okay, I, I gave my husband permission to get more of these. You've, you've heard it on camera, he, he can get more. I like them, really cute robots. We have a robots issue. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm like, are there any more in here? No, there's no more. I don't know maybe there's not. Oh yeah, here's like newer Rock Lords. Look at no, this isn't Rock Lords. This is a this is some weird. This is a like a new something or other. I was trying to see if there was a year on this puppy. There is. Nineteen oh, nineteen eighty five. I didn't think it would be, but yeah, this is Rock Lords, but just interesting plasticky. I like that one better. Here we go. Let's see if I can get, oh, no, no. He's got like weird feet and everything. See if I can get him to stand. I like that one better, that's cute. This is cool. And I'm like, is this a little wind up? It is, this is from G.I. Joe, but it's like super cute. It's got a little cover symbol in on everything. That's how it works. Okay, that's cute. See, I never had cute toys that did stuff like that. All right, well, there's that. There's like all these little gadgets in here. So this is a Mad Balls body. And we have a random like mummy head that goes on a broken body. Um, but this one's really cool. He looks like he was chained and um, put in the swamp. That's kind of what happened to that guy. So I like him. And then, of course, we found a little mini Ronald McDonald in car. So that's going to be for our pal Smitty. Or no, I think he actually has those, believe it or not. So, yeah, he has those. So that, this one's going to go to my kid. All right. But <coughs> when I bought it, I thought of Smitty. But um, apparently, come to find out he bought them. All right. Whoa. Okay. So let me see. This one's another, like, be careful type of stuff. Oh, Transformers the movie. It's very nice. Okay, we got some villains back there, but I'm like, oh, it's all good guys. Boo. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's cute. I like that. So that's another one that has to get framed. And you have like really cool artwork on the back as well. So I like it. I like it. My husband wants it off camera. He kind of wants to put it away since it's like falling apart. Um, and then I got, this is one of my finds. So the box is like terrible, but I don't really care. Um, I, it's more for the art of it. So it's rose art. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Um, crayon by number, easy and fun. I didn't even look to see if anything was in here, to be honest with you. That's cute though. I mean, it looks like they're all done, but it's fine because it's rose art and I'm not that worried about it. Um, so you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll, you know, okay, so it's not completely all done. Yes, nice. Wow. Yeah, I'll use some Crayola for this. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I don't mess with rose art. It's not really a thing. But this is really cute. I would really like to scan some of those probably. Yeah, the crayons are no longer with it, but that's fine because rose art is garbage. Come on. Come on. Am I right? All right, now, see, it, it, it seriously never ends in here. Oh, okay, that was somewhere else. Okay, hold on. Huh? The Black Hole Coloring Book. When did you buy this? When did you get this one? I don't even remember him picking this one up. Um, 
Oh, wow. And it's got a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so I remember all the stuff that was in here. Oh, but look it. Not really a lot of stuff going on in that coloring book, but it's not really colored in if you think about it because it's literally just these scribble lines. So it's, you know, in pretty good shape. Um, and then inside was this, which is really neat. And my husband loves Big Boy. It's like one of like um, the memories he has with his dad. And um, it's kind of cool to see Big Boy restaurants, like the chains. There was one in Durham, North Carolina. So that's kind of neat. But, um, but yeah, this is a cute little, what is a comic? And it was a free to the guests, it said. So, very nice. That was a good find inside of there. And then we got Comic Shop News. So it's like a newspaper that was like made from a comic book store. You know, just like printed by themselves. No, yeah, yeah, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, let's see. Nova Girl's latest model in full color. Enemy Ace graphic novel takes wing in August. See that? Aww, Rocky Hard is a time warp into the 90s. Love Rocky Hard. So yeah, that was in there too. All right. We're almost to the bottom of this bag, I promise. And then I found this. Again, not in the best shape, but still really cool. Um, thank you, Mr. Jason Hunt from Mrs. Barnes' second grade class. So it's ours now. All right, let's see. We have a whole stack of things. Oh my goodness, there's still more stuff in the bottom. I didn't even see. Hold on. So we got a really weird, like, random metal guy because my husband said it reminded him of Shredder, which it kind of does. A uh, Splinter. Um, if, like, Splinter were to wield guns, like, this would totally be him. And I don't think he stands, so I'm going to hold him, like, so. But, yeah, he looks like a post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic Splinter. Uh-oh. I'm not going to roll all the rock lords here. I'm going to put you down here so I don't jack you up anymore. All right. And then, see, we got one of these in the last video, but it was, like, kind of destroyed. So this one is in a lot better shape, so I'm glad we got that. Oh my goodness, it's a Chuck E. Cheese van. See, I, for one, never played at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, this is from, what, 1981? What? And then, I don't know, it's like, cool. It's got, I'm trying to figure out what this, like, thing is. But I never really went to Chuck E. Cheese, so I'm a little jealous. But what in the universe? So this is metal, and I was not thinking it was going to be metal. And he really needs a bath, like really hard he needs a bath. Made in Hong Kong. And I was looking to see what it could be, but um, I mean, this, I'm trying to, it's a pencil sharpener. Check that out. That's cool. I'm not going to lie. See, you guys had such cool stuff. My pencil sharpeners didn't look like this. And see, you can sharpen your pencil. Your teacher would be like, Put away your toy. But Miss Smith, it's not a toy. It's my pencil sharpener. Like that's you know that's how it went, right? So I mean that's of course. Um ooh, we got a Star Years book. Very nice. Oh, this is in pretty good shape, I'm not gonna lie. Very cute. Oh, a Sesame Street book on opposites. It's like a it's like a little mail away magazine, almost like those highlights and stuff. Look at a little big bird. Look at them. So cute. And then we got the GoBots coloring book. A lot of like paper stuff. And by golly, okay, I was going to say it wasn't colored in. It's only like a little colored in. And the person that colored it in did a very good job. They stayed in the lines. So good job, whoever did that one. Um, and we got another GoBots activity book, coloring and activity. And this one indeed is not colored in. Fantastic. See, look, very, very nice. Wow, that was a good find. Okay, crawl. Yeah, that happened. Because um, we all need a crawl coloring activity book, just because. So yeah, this one's not colored in either. Wow. And then just because we're weird, um, this is super stickers punch out and stick on activity playbook and it's happy monsters so cute Let's see we love monsters around here 
Captain Power. Okay. This is a press out decoder. Uh uh, no, this has got math involved. I'm not doing any of it. No, this is like a nightmare book. Nope. That's cute, but no. Oh, okay, it's got crosswords too. I can get in on that one. Fix the computer design. Look at all the numbers. No, I'm not doing that. All right, and then we got another little GoBots book, right? Super cute. Oh, and it's got the record. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and we are currently watching Pac-Man, like the vintage cartoon, and it's really terrible, actually. It's really, really bad. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of cool. So it's an activity book, and it's kind of colored in, but kind of not. So really cute, though. I like it. And then, you know, I'm not one for Man Magazine, but I like the cover. So this is going to be mine. And then a G.I. Joe coloring an activity book. This is very nice. So I really like it. And this is not colored in as well. Well, that is all we got from um, our friend in Lexington. My goodness, that was a lot of stuff. He really hooked us up. I'm not going to lie. Um, I still have stuff I didn't show you. We still have stuff from our friend Jason who hooked us up. And like, we also hit a thrift store and like a random side of the road store. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what we got from him. I'm going to go put some of the stuff away and get ready to show you what we got on our other trip. So stay tuned for more stuff. Bye. Toy lovers. So we are almost about to hit a new milestone. We almost have 300 subscribers. I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for the support and for watching the videos. I'm having a blast. So we're super close and then come to find out that 50% of the people that are watching the videos aren't subscribing. Come on guys, you're watching the videos, click the subscribe button. So if we get to 300, and I know we will, I would love to give something else away. Don't know what it is yet, could be a winner's choice, but I would really like to give away something. So come on guys, hit that subscribe button.